Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am here at Quanchkin Lake and we are taking part in some of the side missions, especially these mastery missions that we have not completed as of yet. Now, I did complete one just prior to this. Uh, it was just catching one fish, or I'd caught all the others, I guess kind of, not by mistake, but just kind of had caught them already while completing other missions. And unfortunately, I didn't record it right, so it didn't come out real well. So I decided to go ahead and move on to the next one. This is the Pike Hunt 2, the Shad Jig Bait. And we have to go to f three different locations, Quanchkin Lake, White Moose Lake, and St. Croix. Now, the St. Croix one's going to be actually, for me, I have more confidence in it. The Quanchkin is actually the one that's going to be the tough one. We have to catch a chain pickerel. Sometimes, I mean, chain pickerels are easy, but sometimes they can be a little particular <laughs> about where you find them. But we're already here in Quanchkin Lake, and I've already got everything set up the way I need it to be. I'm going to be trying to use this with my Featherlight. Now, he only has to be 3.3 pounds, so the Featherlight should be able to handle him. Now, I've got a fairly small jig head on here. I've got a 2 aught, so it should single out the smaller chain pickerel. And I'm going to start off with this red and white head, 3-inch shad. We'll see if that works for a while. If it doesn't do anything, then we'll try one of the other ones I have in here. But we're going to start off at Pelican Hut. And we need to head towards this stump over here. I did fast forward time a little bit so that we're more in a peak. Now, if I had spinners, I'd have a lot more luck. The shad jigs, I don't have as much luck with. But the spinners are really, really excellent for going after the uh, chain pickerel, especially if you use a slow retrieve. But we're going to try right over here this little marker. I've caught them here plenty of times in this very same spot. Surprised I didn't mark it. That really kind of amazes me, but that marker actually just marks a hole so that we can go after catfish or other bottom dwelling fish. It looks like we've got something here. Can't tell you what it could possibly be, it could be in any number of things, but we'll know once he gets a little closer. No, it is not chain pickerel. That is freshwater drum. All right, not what we're after, but we'll keep trying. Apparently, they like the shad too. Alright, we've got something again. Good fighting fish here. I think it is a chain pickerel. I don't think it's big enough. Yep. There's our first one, a 1.473. I'm guessing we're not going to have to get a trophy one at least to meet these specifications. Let me go ahead and put a marker there. That just for 
posterity. I've got a lot of markers now. Yep, still the same area. I am leaving that one there for the hole. You can pretty much just fan this out. Just make sure that you stay obviously out of the lily pads, otherwise you're going to get a snag. They seem to hang around near them. I might move over here and throw back down the center. Sometimes when you catch one, you gotta move your cast around a little bit. Well, something went after it, but then either that or I got a snag. There we go. Got something that time. I think we got us a bass, though. Yep. Spotted bass. Lots of species go for this, so... Definitely a little bigger. This might be a little more of a fight. Can't tell what it is just yet. I think it might be one. I'm not 100% certain. Yeah, it is one. He's a little bigger. Still not big enough. Damn. Alright. Like I said, they're going for it, but... Getting a chain pickerel this size is going to be a little challenging. There we go. That didn't take too long. Now, there's some fish here that's going to be almost impossible to bring in with this little line, but... Shouldn't be right here so much. Wow. I'm glad that... <laughs> <laughs> That's be Snag Central over there. I don't know what this fella is, but I think he is a bass of some kind. It looks like it. Or another freshwater drum. Yeah. They actually fight pretty well, those freshwater, freshwater drum. They... They have that wide body like bluegill have, and they can really get some pull on you. Yeah, I think I might cast right over here one more time with this one. I've got another shad that might do even better, because it's got more red in it. Chain pick will really go for the red color. Let's see. I think we might have another chain pickerel, but I think he's still too small. Uh. Let me just switch this over. Now, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. This one right here has a lot of red and orange in it. It's actually called yellow red. It's about the same size as the other one. We're just going to give it a shot and see if they go for it.
Caught him at the last minute. <laughs> Trophy spotted bass that time. Right, we got something fairly good size. I think it is a chain pickerel. It's still not big enough. Ugh, Lord. Yeah, it seems to be going for these just as well as the other. So, didn't seem to make a whole lot of difference. I thought they might go for the red a little bit, but it is partly sunny, so the red shows up really well under our vision. There we go. Alright, that's some good size. I think we might have us another freshwater drum. He is fighting us really hard. No, it's not a freshwater drum. It actually might be what we're after here, guys. This might be the one. I get a better look at him. Yep, I think it might be what we got, what we need. Come on, big fella. Yep, there he is. Trophy chain pickerel, so you need at least a trophy, guys. I was pretty sure that was going to be the case. Now let's take a look at this fellow. Now that's not a bad looking fish now, is it? Let me see if for some reason I can't get that. Yeah, I was trying to get further down on the thing, but I can't seem to get there. Well, there's the first one. That's not bad. We'll keep him. Now we need to go to White Moose Lake. Now this should be, in my opinion, much easier than that was. So let's go ahead and leave. So we're now going from the steamy swamp to an arctic blast. <laughs> Which is kind of what it's like around here right now. It's been really cold. So we need to go to White Moose Lake. And we need to go to this spawn point. Damn road. Now you can walk all the way down there if you want to, but I'm going to zip on down there because this is pretty much the main spot for catching northern pike on white moose. Actually, they're not that tough to catch here. So we do need to switch rods over with our Sal Monster. Now this is my, let me show you the Viratex Sal Monster 7 foot by 3 inch uh, with the Redfish 5500, about 42 pound test all the way down the line. We've got uh, 41.2, we got 41, so it's basically 41 pound. This is a good medium sized rod, all around rod. It's great for this location. It's really great for Kitty Creek. I use this a lot. I got it mainly for Canet Creek initially, but this will definitely do what we need to have happen. I'm not so sure the red one is going to be what we're going to be needing, but we're going to try it. Now, the peak period is at 11 a.m., and we do need to go probably to the peak if we can do so. 
Maybe not 11. Let's go to 10. And they're usually right around in this area. And almost always will get them, too. Not that tough of a fish to catch, to be perfectly honest. Now, whether we need to... It's going to be tough to get an 11-pounder or more. I don't know about that. We will catch northern pike, though. See? <laughs> This rod can handle them pretty darn good. Uh, this is really not my ideal lure for right here. Usually I use... Ah, I got it right off the bat. So I told you this would be easier. Trophy Northern Pike. 11.768. He just barely made it though. But they're going to have to be at least a trophy. 1647 cash. So we got that quickly. So that was easy. <laughs> Sometimes it happens that way, guys. You never know. All right. Let's go ahead and leave. And now we're going to go a little further south. St. Croix. And this is where we're going to be trying to catch two different types of musky. I think it's a trophy and a unique, probably. It's my guess. Alright, let's go back to St. Croix Lake. We're going to keep the gear the same. I think what we've got is going to do the job. Now, we need to come over here. We are going to need our boat. I like this boat, the St. Patrick's Day boat I also like, they're pretty much the same boat. One's just green and one and gold and one's not, but I want to go something that's kind of not, kind of stand down ish <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and get this started. This is my good fail safe boat for every, all use, it's not, it's got a good speed to it, got a good feel to it, doesn't have rod holders, I wish it did. In the Fisherman Fishing Planet, it had rod holders. And it was great. But they never put them on this one. But we need to go all the way down here by boat to Muskie and Northern Pike Heaven. That's not what it's really called, it's what I call it. I've done a lot of videos on catching the muskie and northern pike over here. And I've always mastered it. some lily pads over here on the right. I've got some markers over there. Those are going to probably be marking where I usually cast, but we want to go ahead and set anchor right about there. Okay. That should do it. Alright. Alright guys, I am back and we are in the proper location for catching these musky, we have to catch at least one that weighs 22.1 pounds or more, and another one that weighs 33.1 pounds or more. Probably a trophy and a unique to complete this. And I've got some markers set out, and I've caught musky in different locations over here. Generally over in that area there. We're going to see if we can't get them. I did fast forward time to the peak. There's several good spots for the muskie. This is primarily the main one right here. And we might try to lift and drop or stop and go. Yep. 
Usually it doesn't take too long to get one. Now if we were going for Northern Pike, we want to go cast more to the right of this location. Now unfortunately this is a cloudy day, not the best of peaks. There we go. And I'm thinking we got one. Yep, I think we got us a decent one here. Now, it could be a northern pike. There's a good chance of getting a northern pike, like I said, but I don't think that's what we got here. I think we got us an actual muskie. Let's just hope he's big enough. Oh, you got to be kidding me. He is... 14.672 pounds. He's got to be bigger than 22. So I'm thinking... Well, we'll keep him. Might as well pay for the trip here, but... I don't know if we're going to get... How hard it's going to be to get this trophy or not. There we go. Oh... Okay, this might be a trophy one at least. Yeah, that time I tried to twitch, and that they went for it right off the bat. Yeah, this one's bigger. Just needs to be 22.2 pounds. That's all I care about. <laughs> Yeah, he's definitely at least a trophy. So I think we got one of them here, guys. There we go. Yep, first one. Trophy Muskie, 29 pounds. He was almost big enough to meet the other requirement. 29.961 pounds. Nice fish. Got him with a twitching action. Now this shed is working really well. They tend to like reds and well, bright colors in general. And we're approaching the top of the peak, which is the best time to be able to get a unique. That's probably what we have to get to meet the other requirement. There we go. Okay, I don't know what happened, but... It was acting really glitchy. Like I said, I've been having a lot of internet problems. I don't know if that's been contributing to this. But this is not the, as big of a fish as we need, I don't think, though. It's a decent one, but I don't think it's going to be unique. Maybe another trophy. Yep, it is a trophy. Just not big enough. 